Hello everyone. Um, just want to start a segment just to tell you guys, like a motivated segment. Just want to um, tell you guys how God has been good to me and how he's so gracious and how he's so faithful. Like, if you want to hear what I have to say about the goodness of God and how you can um, entertain him in your lives, stay tuned okay guys so my name is keisha hey keisha and my lip wasn't gonna cut it it was so dry as i started speaking and then i realized that i need something on it so i just stepped away and went to get um some lip gloss but anyways i just wanted to share with you i just want to motivate someone i want to be able to bless someone with what i have been going through and how like god has been so grateful so faithful is he grateful or am i grateful i have been so grateful with his faithfulness and he is still a miracle work in god um so if i'm gonna tell you right now if you are your back is against the wall and you feel like you don't know what to do i've come across um people that you know commit suicide commented about committed in suicide but honestly i just have so much to share with you guys and going forward i just want to do a lot of motivation videos on my youtube channel and as i said let me just get into it instead of chit chatting so guys recently i purchased a home and when I tell you, when God said he's going to exceedingly abundantly blesses you, he will do so. Because I was, um, I will tell that story another time. But for now, I just wanted to say that I purchased that home. It was more than what I expected. So I will share that later on with you guys because that's a long story. But I moved to the new home that I purchased. And um, I took a week off from work and i moved in and the, i moved in take about about three days for us to move and i'll talk more about my move in in another video i'll also talk about the city that i moved the town that i moved to because i moved from a city to a town like a country area but i'll talk more about it because i'm gonna do lots more video because now that i have lots more time on my end but anyways to get into it again without so I'm trying to fix my lighting guys so okay so um, I'm currently in the new home that I purchased there's a lot of things that needs to get done so I will be showing you guys a tour I'll be showing you guys some certain things that I need that needed to be done but for now I just want to just stick to this story because I'm I'm like so in that tune where I just I just feel this burning that I need to speak to someone I need to speak to someone and let me tell you, as I said before I went and fixed the, um, the camera and the lighting, that God is so amazing. When they told me that it was my last day, my thoughts, everything disappeared. I couldn't think. I, I just, I, I, I didn't know what to do. These are people that I eat with, I have lunch with, I laugh with, I talk with. And at the time when it happened, they make it seem as if I'm going to lift the trailer up and steal because it's a trailer office I used to work with. Um, I, I work on the site, like um, building homes and stuff. And I, I just, I was lost. I was lost. I was like wondering, how am I going to pay my bills? My bill is more expensive than it was or should have it was before. This is the biggest mortgage I've ever taken up in my entire life. And um, I'm like, where am I gonna how am I gonna buy food am I gonna survive and I was a little bit broken and I came home and the next day I started just worshiping and just worshiping and just walking around the home because this market has to be paid so I told myself seven days around the house I will be walking I will be walking with my anointed oil and I'm anointing every post around the house and throwing it on the ground because this this um this land tax will be paid and I went around for seven days around not knowing that God was preparing me the seventh the sixth day was the day that they told me that I was that I lost my job and the seventh day I was like empty and I was just 
pouring out to God, pouring out to him, because now I really don't know. Now, I, at the time, I was short. I don't know. My income needs to help a little bit, and I, I really don't know. I've been looking for a second job, and now not only a second job that I need, I need a full-time job and possibly a second, a second job. And then I'm like, I don't know, God, are you just closing the store because you know that I need something? You need, you know that my income isn't enough and I may, I was, I'm going to say I am comfortable. I was comfortable at where, at where I'm at. So possibly, honestly, I would have never left the job anyway. So I believe in my heart and I want to stick to that, that God has closed that door because he has something better in store for me. And the seventh day I walked around and I was just worshiping God. I make marks on the wall. If you come to my house, honestly, you'll see like oil in my on my walls. I have oil in my closet, not my closet, sorry, my my um, cabinets because my storage basket will needs to be filled with food and my, my, my market has to be paid. And to get to the point as what, what I'm trying to say, the closer you move, the closer you get to God, the closer He gets to you. And in the midst of the storm, just worship, just worship. The devil will come with all kind of stuff. He came with all kind of stuff. Because But remember, God was tempted. Jesus was tempted. And he had to rebuke him. And we are we are not as like we are not like Jesus, but we are trying to be like Christ Christ like. But what am I trying to what I'm trying to say? The devil will come with all these stories and stuff that you made a mistake, that you shouldn't have done this, and you know, like all these stories and this point I tell you the truth I haven't said anything to anyone because I do not want the negative thing I don't want any negative energy any negative feedbacks I don't want anything negative coming from anyone's mouth so I rather not say anything to anyone and I'm telling you guys um, I was talking to one of the guys that I was managing at this company and I was telling him you know like the house that I purchased I didn't know that I feel like I was getting in a fight, but God was was in the battle. He was, but I, as I said again, that's another story. And so um, I had to come up with some extra money, come up with some extra money out of my pocket, and I basically had nothing left. And I had one month of one month of mortgage that I was holding on to, and like bill payment, and like to buy groceries, something that I can survive off of um, before within a month. So I'm like, I was telling the guy that I have to, you know what, I need to go get my tax done. As soon as I get my, my tax payment, my tax papers, I'm going to get it done. It happens that, it happens that I get, I got, received both of them at the same time. So I went to, to do my tax and let me tell you before I jump there, on my way to get my tax done, I was, I feel like I was empty. I feel like at first... I felt like I was in a box when I got the house and I realized all the payments and everything that I have to pay. I feel like I was in and my paycheck wasn't going to do it. I honestly felt like I was in a dark room and I couldn't see a door and I didn't and I don't know where to go. I felt like my back is against the wall and I don't know what direction to take where to go if there's a door that's open i don't know i can't see it it's dark and that's how i felt and when they told me that i have no job i lost my job i felt like that room was caving in on me and getting closer and closer and i feel so empty i felt like i was a shell walking around driving around like no shell like a shell and I have to be trying, been trying to be strong. I don't want the kids them to realize what I'm going through, and you know that possibly they might be homeless. But not unless, I, not unless you serve a God. With the God that I serve, I know I wasn't gonna be homeless. You just have to. Sometimes my faith was going. My faith, I was losing faith, and that's because the devil, the devil was trying to work on my faith. He was working overtime, and I realized he was working overtime, so I started putting more overtime work. Even though I feel empty, I started to listen to worship videos. Tasha Cobb, my favorite singer. Um, I started listening to her videos and like listening to spiritual stuff and pastors preaching just to encourage my soul schedule so I don't get lost. 
and that day that day man I was driving and I'm like God I feel so empty I feel so empty fill me up and even though now I'm asking him to fill me up I've been asking him to fill me up because I feel so empty I feel like I don't even know like anything that's gonna happen right now is gonna be impossible and I know that he's a miracle working God and I'm like God if you if you are the one, if you are the God that I'm, that I worship, that I was told that if you are the God of all, God, reach down, reach down and touch me. God, if you are the God, if, if you are the God of all the kings, all kings men, God, touch me, Lord God. And I'm like, Father, if you are, if you are the deliverer, of Daniel when he was in the lion den and the, the lions could not open their mouth to eat him. Deliver me, Jesus. I'm like, God, if you are the one that delivered the Egyptians, dear God, the, 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 um, deliver them and part the Red Sea for Moses. Deliver me, Lord God. And I said, from Pharaoh and everything, you have shown so many signs and wonder to Pharaoh and and you have helped your children children to get out of that darkness and if you are the god of the if you are the god who deliver those your children deliver me and i'm like god shadrach meshach and abednego they were in the fire and the fire couldn't burn them and i'm like god you send your angel dear god to be in charge and you were in the fire with them god if you are the same god guide me protect me take me out of where i'm at right now and just fill me and just show me a light because i'm in this dark place i just need to see the light just show it to me and i will just follow and i kept driving and my daughter was sitting in the car with me and i kept driving and went and went to go get my tax done I was telling the guy, you know what happened? I move away two hours away and I was coming in town. So I just decided that I wanted to just use one rock and kill two birds. And um, so I was telling him what I was going through with work and just purchasing the house. And so he did my tax and then I was short a little bit of the money because usually I pay like a certain amount but I guess he raised it so I was short so he said okay just give me what you have and then he was doing it and they said okay so I'm gonna tell you the figures that I was told that I was gonna get so that you guys know how God is good so he said to me you're gonna get about four thousand five hundred dollars back from your tax so you return from your, your tax refund so I'm like okay God uh, that's about a month um, mortgage some payments again and possibly you know some payments for bills and you know grocery whatever to survive on another month so i'm like okay so now i have two months so within the two month lord you i need to find a job within this two months but you know i'm gonna trust you i'm gonna trust you because i really don't know what else to do i grew up in the church and i just grew up knowing that when you're in trouble and you cannot find your way just look up to jesus and just say hallelujah and it might be a song say hallelujah but i i taught myself that when you're in trouble just can't find your way just cry out to god and he will rescue you he said look up unto the hills from whence cometh thy help your help cometh from the lord and god i've been looking up to the hills and sometimes you have to remind him of the words of the words of what the what the words he said in the Bible. And I'm like, so as we were, I was saying bye to the tax guy and my daughter got up and we were walking up and he goes, he goes, oh, Keisha, I forgot that um, I didn't um, claim for the kids. And I said, yeah, I thought you did. And he goes, no, I didn't, um, but don't I usually do it? And he goes, okay, let's, let me go look back on to, look back for on last year, um, what I did in last year and when he looked back he realized that he's like yeah I didn't and he goes it will make a little bit of difference so when he did it again he said oh my gosh oh my gosh Keisha you're gonna be getting eleven thousand five hundred dollars return I'm like no I'm dreaming this cannot be real and he goes let me check again and he checked 
three times to make sure he's not making any mistake and it happened that the government came out with this thing where um whatever um say child care or um program that you put the kids them in and you're claiming it back instead of giving you back um a portion of the money they give you everything that you spent so he's like you're getting back eleven thousand five hundred and i'm like god you answer you answer my prayer and I'm like this is Jesus and I turn to him and I'm like Joe God is a good God and I'm like Joe this is favor this is favor this is godly favor upon my life because God knew what I was going through now know how empty I was and he was just trying to restore me he was restoring me and my drive I felt too the tax guy I felt empty I feel like I was in darkness and I asked him to show me the light I just need to see a light and going back home oh, it's like that was the light and I was like God my soul is at rest I am at peace knowing that not only I have four months of mortgage and living payment I you, you had an additional three months onto it or even more and I'm like holy not the two months i should say so um now i'm looking at about three to four months worth of a um, mortgage payment before but this is still new guys so i'm still looking for a job but i know that god has something in store for me he has a plan for my life and he's not done working on me yet and i just want to encourage you whoever it is that god is working on your life to just ask just ask him just ask 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 lord you said ask and it shall be given you should seek lord god and you shall find right now i'm in my seeking stage seek to find a job and God have a relationship with God because he will never he said that will never see you will never see his child forsaken neither his seed begging bread and that's not gonna happen to me and if it's not happened to me God and he's an omnipotent God he's here with me he's here with you he's all around this world so give him a try give him a try if you don't know how to just release if you if you feel empty and clouded and you feel like you can't do it on your own just I'm telling you guys put it on your phone put it on your TV just put like a worship a worship video on your TV that's what I've been doing just worship video worship video worship worship pure worship Tasha cops worship worship video just worship and when you're when when you're if you're tired of it if even though I, I don't get tired of it but you can put like T.D. Jakes or some like pastors and somebody that's encouraging and preaching and listen to service that will help to up uplift you. If you cannot uplift yourself, it will help you. Motivational videos, watch them. Videos like this that I'm doing. I was watching a lot of people losing job and God just do exceedingly abundantly and above all for them. And I, that's why I want to make videos of my own to share my stories and to encourage other people just as how others have encouraged encourage me and like you won't lost your way as long as you have God beside you and he's walking with you and you realize and acknowledge him you said that once you acknowledge him he will direct your path so Lord I give you thanks for everyone here that is watching my videos and I pray that you may touch them you may touch their hearts touch their soul that you may walk with them God and speak to them this is how you have walked with me that how you communicated with me how build a friendship with them God sometimes it's hard for them to come to you but God I pray that you may step into their direction so that they will realize that it's you God and that you're there to help them I pray to their dear Lord that you may just stress forth, stretch forth your hand and bless and bless and bless those that's watching my video with abundant blessing as you have done for me dear God you are truly amazing God and I love you with every breath that I take and everything in my heart I love you and I just want to just give my soul I just want to just surrender my entire being to you dear God bless and keep us as we continue to just worship and acknowledge you and believe that you are the true God 
deliver us, dear Lord Jesus. Amen. So I thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a awesome day. A great month. I should say a great week. And a great month. See you in my next video.